Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as Rügen. We're going for a custom achievement, the Emperor's Pirates. And uh, we have to grab two extra achievements, uh, AAA credit and even better than Pete Hain, while keeping the hands of the Empire. Although we're allowed to subjugate uh, Empire nations if we don't fabricate on them, which with our great new castle spelly, we can. Now, um, I think it, we should have a quick another look around for whether there's anybody around with a high credit that we can just take on. Sure, in best gameplay terms, we would wait until the absolute last moment um, to do so, because we could use this money for something else right now, opportunity cost and all that. But ooh, we can also offer knowledge sharing. Well, let's do that too. While I'm here, let's sell to our own subject for Ducket. Whatever, sure. Uh, not what I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for... Uh, oh, it's a great power action, right. Uh, take on foreign debt. Anybody? Mm. Iron? No, 72 ducats. What about Ayutthaya? Too kind of big. 1300 ducats. Ah, what the fuck, sure. Uh, yeah, I think the recording overlays is on. Let's just... Boop. Done, and you should see the achievement pop up in a moment. Ah, uh, what else do we have? Uh, we're still privateering the sea around England for not a lot of reasons. I mean, we started it because we needed some presence to make our rating better, but that is done and we're still doing it, so let's not. Uh, I suppose we might as well grab the three lights here. Well, once we can, grab the three lights. And give them a real job, like go to Constantinople and make me money. Which we might also swap around in a moment, but um, let's do this. And then, and then, and then I want to see a achievement pop up on the monthly tick. Uh, at least one would assume that what would happen. Did not. What did I do incorrectly? Should we have gotten an achievement pop up here? Triple A credit. Where is it? What did I do wrong? Where is Triple A credit? I'm clearly eligible for achievements, right? The heck? Let me check my Steam. I mean, then we knew. Yeah, I got it. Unlocked October 31st, which is today. That's a great power take. Okay. Not a clue why it's not here, but I got it. So, yay. <laughs> Um, uh, let's continue doing our thing. Um, pom, 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 pom. What's the other thing? Oh, we have a war. I completely forgot that we have a war going on, uh, which we can piece out. Now, we were thinking to do a separate piece, weren't we? Mm, oh, but that might not actually be the smartest thing to do. But I was thinking about doing a separate piece to the Innu. And then do a huge piece to the Algonquin as well. But this causes me no overextension. Really? It costs me a ton of dip. Why does that not cause overextension? It's not a colony, is it? Oh, it doesn't cost me overextension because it's occupied by Queen Anne. I see, I see what you're saying here, game. I see what you're saying. Because my thinking was that uh, a PC like this is huge overextension. I should really not be able to take that. Um, and with that being the case, we wouldn't be able to also give our subject all that land. So doing a separate piece doesn't do much. Now, what about like a reasonable piece here where we just connect our subject's land. 
We don't know how much overextension will be for our subject. Uh, we can find out, right? It's a bit annoying to do. Is there like, ah, it's actually pretty, pretty decently sized. Okay, let's do it before we screw over our subject. I'm gonna give all this land to myself. It's currently occupied by my subject. No, me, me. So we get the actual overextension numbers, right? 95%, that sounds perfect. <laughs> and then we actually don't want to go ahead and not do it like this, I think, but we want to give it all to Queen Anne. That would happen anyway. Um, as soon as we peace out and take land that is in the colonial region, it will be given to the respective colonial nation. But if we do it this way, their liberty desire will also go down. Which, you know, is a bonus you should take. Just in case. So we do all the way around, and like that, and like that, and like that. And uh, we take some ducats. Yeah, that's the amount of ducats I meant. 100 ducats, sure. Coalition, shmoalition, it'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just do this, I think. Bam. That frees up these boats to, I suppose, be somewhere else. I don't think we can raid again, can we? No, 22. Four more years. Okay, so we got our AAA credit, even though it was being weird. Uh, we should not be paying for these boats. Mothball. Um, might be looking into... Eh, we don't have tons of money lying around. I'm thinking about going for extra, extra troops. Because it looked like we still had some room in our force limit there. But I think money is good right now too. Uh, corporate action relation impact. <laughs> Didn't know there was a modifier. Hooray, I suppose. Speaking of relation impact, I think we have a bunch of favors here. Yep. So let's buy some more something. Uh, are you gonna send me anything except trust? No, you will send me sailors, but I don't want sailors. I have sailors. Okay, so we got the one achievement. How do we get the other one? Uh, we have to raid a treasure fleet worth 100 ducats. I believe treasure fleets are always around 100 ducats. I think they just take longer to charge up, but then there are 100 ducats worth. Um, that means you have to raid the, essentially the whole treasure fleet. Uh, and I see two spots where we could do that. Uh, I could do that in the Caribbean. Uh, that's actually the wrong map mode. I want trade goods. Because I believe we see some gold over here. And at least there, yeah. We have the Nicaraguan gold that's being exploited by the Spanish. That should go through the Caribbean. It's probably all that they have anyway. And then there's the other option of doing the same thing in Sevilla. But I don't think I have the range to do Sevilla, do I? Can I just go ahead and say priority Sevilla? No. And I believe fleet basing rights wouldn't help. Yeah, I can't. I believe fleet basing rights wouldn't help with extending that range either. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the fleet over to the Caribbean. And the question, can we do so without being attrition to death? Now attrition is very weird. So right now we're not getting any because we're adjacent to a friendly port. But um, let's try this. Let's say but not with all our boats. <clears throat> let's wait for these to move. And we're gonna grab like a few of our galleys here. And move them over here because at some point over here we're not gonna have supply range anymore. There, right? We have it in the Barbary because we don't have it in the Gulf of Emeria yet. Let's have a quick look at the attrition that's gonna happen there. And I believe it's gonna be. Oh, you guys need to make me money though. Privateer. Uh, this place. And bring the guy. I believe what we're going to see, we're definitely going to see attrition pop up, 
think we're gonna see it be very high. If I'm not mistaken on my mechanics here. Which, you know. Yeah, I see 21%. <laughs> because it counts the time at sea. At least that's how I interpret it. Of the fleet. Even though it was constantly at sea next to a friendly port, that doesn't matter. It's not the time in nutritionally waters, it's the, just the time at sea. Uh, yeah, I think I re elect, right? We're super young, we have tons of stuff. That's Austria. Yeah, certainly re elect. So, now, if we go into the harbor in Corfu. Just experimenting here before I sent my fleet over the sea, because we have lost a boat like that before. Uh, it wasn't even going overseas, it was just trying to go home, I think. Uh, I am sure you can deal with this. Right, Queen Anne? You're huge now. Gonna give that a look in a moment. Uh, see if they're actually dealing, but I am pretty sure they should be able to. Let's fully repair, just to be just to be safe here. And yes, this cost me some money. whoop de doo I think that's gonna be alright, come on. 91, one more tick. So what I think is now that we have been to port, we're going to start with the 1% attrition rather than the insane amount. A uh, dip or money? I mean, as much as I like money. Give me that dip. Okay, Ooh, speaking of money. Oh no, I didn't mothball you. Good. Let's get you back out into the Gulf of Emeria. Again, no supplies. And I expect it to be 1% now, and not 21. Maybe like 2 from time at sea or something, but not, not 21. Convert, keep doing that. What's your attrition say? Yeah, 1%. So, what we're going to have to do, if, and I think we do, if we want to, and I think we do want to, send our fleet over to... Uh, the new world, even though we're going to lose money doing so. For them to be able to make the trip, they all need to visit a port first. Which is easy to do, it's just not something that comes naturally. And it really, sh really should be that way, I don't think. So let's take the January, uh, the February tick here. There we go. Oh, we overcapped on mill because I'm a fool. Good, good. And then get into the Cretan port. I uh, don't really care about that Miltech yet, so let's just go and develop a bit in... I don't know. Cowan seems a fun place. Nava also doesn't seem a bad place. Uh, it's slightly worse to have development there, but there's a lot more room for mill development, so it's less work. And I like less work. That's great. Right, because there's five admin development here can do a lot of these mill clicks without worries. That's good. All right, my fleet. Into port you go. Are you all fully repaired? You are. I sent you in the Gulf of Emeria. Check on the attrition when we're there. And then I think we're going to start uh, make the crossing. We should be fine. Famous last words. Watch me lose my whole fleet here. 0%, one basement. Oh, the maneuver even helps. Cool. Now I want you to go. Suppose I sent you to the Orinoco Delta first. Consider just telling them to privateer, but I'll I'll give them a nice port. Just to be sure. Knowledge sharing from Burke. We did sell knowledge, right? We are selling knowledge right now to Polotsk, I think. Yeah, we're not negative on money, even though we stopped privateering, which is nice. Oh, we're already here. Neat. Uh, go ahead and privateer the Caribbean Sea, please. There you go. Again, way less money, but my hope is that we have a huge percentage of the trade power here. Uh, am I protecting again? No, I'm privateering, right? Maybe it needs to have a monthly tick to update their year. So we have 79% of the trade power. 
is that going to allow me to take 100 ducats out of a treasure fleet of 100 ducats? AKA, are we going to take the whole treasure fleet? I don't know how that is calculated. Golden Age of Piracy triggered modifier will be available for the next 50 years. What does that mean? Will be available. Golden Age of Privacy triggered modifier. Is it a modifier I got? Oh no, wait, there's a list of triggered modifiers somewhere. It's a button I never click. Well, never strong. There we go. Uh, we seem to have it. <laughs> we need to have at least 1% tried power in the Jamaica channel. Yeah, <laughs> we just did get that. Uh, that should mean that we get even more priority efficiency. Okay. Anything else cool in here? No, right? Nah. Nah. There we go. Well, this is now a Buccaneer Battalion. Does the claim and vision you want? Oh. Let's go back to fabricating on the Muscovite, I suppose. Just in case we do a war there, if I can ever find the button, which I cannot for the life of me. Gosh darn, where's build spine work? There. The Buccaneer Battalion, is that like a, any sort of... I mean, sure, all these mercenary companies have some sort of thing going on, but I don't feel so similar. similar. Can we see anything about the Buccaneer Battalion that is... And it's interesting. They're based on Tortuga, which makes sense. They have a bad leader, they're just infantry. Less discipline, more movement speed. <laughs> Let's not go there. It does seem to be a silly place. Please send me a nice sort of lead. Hesse inherited Lüneburg. It's a weird HRE, isn't it? Dang. You got 81.57 ducats from that. And it carried 100. It's slightly more than 100. Is there a way that carries more? Let me Google that for me. Um, like if there's a place where it makes more sense. Uh, da, 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 da. EU for treasure fleet. Treasure fleet. Yeah, 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 cookie time. Good notions with gold provinces will not receive income from gold themselves, but instead will store it in a treasure fleet counter that counts up towards a certain sum depending on the size of the colony's gold mines. Once the count is full, the colony will send a treasure fleet. Treasure fleet travels downstream, yada, 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 yada. Uh, so, Lord, priorities from the steel share of the gold. Just Corresponding to their trade power. Note. Okay. So it sounds as if the trade fleets go bigger when there's more gold, which does make sense. It's just not what I thought happened. So our problem is that the Spaniards just have a garbagey gold mine down there. They actually have another one here in Coahuila. It's also a terrible place. Are there any good gold mines around? Oh, that would be one. The Spaniards could take Mescalero, then we'd be set, probably. Until then, I think we're not gonna... Not gonna be able to get our achievement, unless we somehow manage to get essentially 100% trade power on the node. Well, privateers. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> we only have the 80. I wonder... Hmm. We need to be very close to 100%, and that's very, very hard. Essentially make all this actual trade power that is here irrelevant. 
<sighs> yeah, I don't know how we would do that. Okay, so we're kind of relying on the Spaniards to finally do their job and start stealing other people's gold. <laughs> hmm. I don't like it particularly much. Converted the weird Scandinavians at least. Good, good. I wonder if we should go and go back. So we're making like uh, 17 ducks, 17 fewer ducks or something a month right now. And that's not being made up by treasure fleets here. Clearly the frequency is not high enough that we make up for that much money every month. Frequency of one so far, which is a very high frequency. Um, hmm. I must protect our trade, of course. So do I set my fleet back then, for now, until we see the Spaniards take out, take the Miscalero out? There are other gold places around that are great. We could watch for them taking trade goods. So this one was bad, right? Yes. Hamas Galera was good. That's kind of medium. Probably, yeah. If they went into the Aztec lands, then that would be great. But that seems unlikely. Do you have claims on this? You do not. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I think I'm going to have to send my fleet back right now. Uh, I will lose my... my 20% modifier if I send everybody home. So there's probably a balance here though that we should strike. Hmm, okay. Let's have you... No, why, why? You stopped. Why is it moving? Um, I want to take a few boats here. Oh, no. Take like 20 barks. And you are going to privateer the Caribbean. You folks are going to get into port real quick. Get your timer reset. And then, oh, come on. <laughs> Probably just missed out on uh, 60 ducats there. If I had waited a moment. A uh, bunch of separatists over in Rakanishu, which ooh, you don't seem particularly suited to deal with right now. 5k troops. Oh. <laughs> we have to go and help our subject there. Okay, with you being ready, I think I'll go and just send you to privateer the Constantinople node again. Let's check that we still have enough trade power in... Yeah, way more than enough here. We just need 1% trade power. Probably would be fine with a boat. Speaking of, there's a boat. It could grab me money in... Not considering over this time, please. Eh, could be considering over, but let's not. Put you down there. And yes, I'm going to send troops. Fine. How do we do this? Uh, we attach you to these boats, drive you here, pick up some more friends, and then we go north. Bremen, that's a um, power move right there. Cleansing of heresy. Attach. So I'm kind of wondering what else we're gonna do? While we wait for the Spaniards to get their sh shite together. Is it just war? <laughs> do we just go beat people up somewhere? Or do we have any better ideas? Where are you going now? You're going to Pasamu. 
Maybe I don't want to land then. 7th of December, 7th, oof. I wish I had um, a lead on my trips. 6th of December, okay, we're gonna have to be very careful here. Land, grab, ah, let's roll one here, we have so much mill. Uh, let's roll another one because that one's terrible. One more. And then stick with the one we had to begin with. That's unfortunate. We don't have tons of tradition, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's actually terrible. We really don't have any tradition. Um, wait, somebody stopped drilling. Oh, because I moved their general. Uh, you. I mean, I have a bunch of folks that can drill now, so please do. And my money fleet, grab the guy back. Make slightly more money. Buy an innovativeness over three tradition. Yeah, I'll do that again. Seems fine. Pretty painful, but I mean, it's just money and men, and we have money and men. So it's not that painful, I suppose. Uh, how are we doing on this? Next year, we can click the buttons here, which uh, might not quite work on the dip, although we're not making much dip, so maybe it's fine. Because we're spending it all on um, eating up Polotsk. Speaking of eating up Polotsk, uh, the timer's already ready here. Let's improve the Venetians just so we're ready to eat them once we need to. Because we do want to eat them at the same time as we eat the other guys. I don't actually think I can eat them right now. Because of range. But uh, we should be able to get the range in time. Well, I say that. Let's have a quick look at our colonial range. Because we already took the tech that gives us colonial range, I think. Double check that too. Uh, wrong thing. It's economic colonial. And then show me Corfu. That's autumn. Where's, where's Corfu? There's Corfu. Wrong coastline here. Very close, but not quite. Which says to me that we did get the tech with the range. Next range tech is at 19. It's not too far away. So maybe. But the more likely uh, way to get there is a colonial range person. Which we don't currently have available to us. Hmm. We can start rolling for that once we get a bit closer to, to the actual... Time. <laughs> Tough word to remember there. Time. Do I want to do anything else with my dip other than develop? I want to embrace a culture, but I can't. We want to embrace the Swedes. Don't have any work sources to buy down, so I think not. I think not. I think we just spend it on development here. And once we've done that, we're going to put a cut in here. Uh, and lastly, I'd already say thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And if you have anything at all to say to me, then you could do so over there in that comment section. Thank you for watching. See you folks next time.